Hey guys, welcome to this video about road work by JVD on Sports. My name is Jeffrey, and as the title already said, we're going to talk about road work. There are different forms of road work that you can do. A couple of things that are important to know when you're going to do road work, especially if you train for boxing, MMA, kickboxing, or any other martial arts fight, is train as a fight. What I try to say with this is train in an interval way. Don't just keep on running, 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 because during a normal, normal fight, during a match or whatsoever, or sparring session, you won't just keep on ru uh, running as well. In this case, this punching instead of the running. Because you will have a moment of attack and a moment of rest. A moment of attack, a moment of rest. And that going on for like around three minutes or five minutes for MMA matches, and then you have one minute rest. So if you're going to do a road work, don't just sprint for 15 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour, whatever you prefer. Just don't do that. Try to train in an interval way. I have three ways of doing it. I will have a video about all three of them. And a couple of things that are important to know before we start is you have one. Um, principle that really works for making your condition better for fights but actually for daily life and for everything and it is three stands to one that means if you give it all for like one minute that means three minutes of relaxation that doesn't mean that you cannot train but for example in a road work that is like one minute sprint is three minutes jogging for example okay what we're gonna do today is in, this, in all these videos of road work, also the upcoming videos of road work is talking about how to train the interval way for yourself during road work. Okay, the three different ways that you have are running and sprinting, or actually jogging and sprinting. Jogging is your rest and sprinting is giving it all. So you're gonna do three of jogs, so three minutes, 30 seconds equals to 10 or one minute or depending on how we, how we will train I will explain what the ideal way is but depending on how you will train three stands to one so make sure that you train in that way okay the other form is jogging and shadow boxing Sh uh, jogging and shadow boxing is you jog for example let's say 40 seconds and then what you will do is about 15 to 20 seconds around that time you'll just do some shadow boxing but intense shadow boxing not just slowly nose really <laughs> you really gotta do shadow boxing as if you were in a real match and then you start running again or jogging just like that again in full way of three stands to one or two stands to one also works but ideal is three stands to one and what we also have as last is jogging and body weight exercises. Same principle, if you run or jog for 30 seconds, then you do an exercise for 10 seconds. Then you jog for 20, uh, 20 to 30 seconds again, and then you do an exercise for 10 seconds again. So again, three or two stands still one for improving your condition overall and making sure that you actually train in the right way. As I said before, if you have a fight, it's punch, punch, <laughs> coming back, or block, block, but it's not just three minutes long punching or 15 minutes long punching, because there are breaks in between your rounds. And also in the three minutes, you have moments that you attack, moments that you defend, and moments that you are searching for openings. And those are relatively relaxing moments when you're searching for openings doesn't mean it's not intense because you're still mentally searching for openings and you're still moving around but it's less intense than attacking so that's why the interval training so in this video about road work we'll talk about jogging and shadow boxing as i explained you have different forms of road work you have jogging and running jogging and shadow boxing jogging and bodyweight training today we're going to talk about jogging and shadow boxing
What's important to know is that you still use the 3 to 1 principle as I explained before, because that is better for conditioning your body. So what we will do is we will take a jog for about one minute. And then we take 20 seconds of shadow boxing. So you run for one minute, just in a relaxing pace as a jog, and then search for a place for some shadow boxing. You may do shadow boxing on your spot, just with some punches and some knees or elbows or you know grabbing or whatsoever, depending on what you train for. If you train for a mat, also go to the ground, make yourself fall. If you train for a boxing or kickboxing match, do some punches in the air and move around as if you're moving in the ring. But make sure that you do one minute of a jog, 20 seconds of shadow boxing. Because in the ring itself, when you start attacking, you will be attacking for well 10, 20 seconds, and at that moment you have your moment as you go out of each other and you'll search for your openings again, and at that time. You're still busy because you're still moving around and you're still thinking so you're using your mental strength as well and that's also taking energy from yourself but it's more relaxing than the attack itself and therefore the jog simulates that moment that you have rest and the attack is actually shadow boxing so like that you train yourself ready for a fight and you make the condition better for sparring and fighting as well and you learn how to divide your energy so make sure that you don't use too much energy at once during as well your road work as sparring or fighting because you have to fight all rounds if not then you're lucky because if you win on KO you're lucky but if the other guy won't go knockout you have to fight all rounds and have to be ready and have your condition and endurance and all still there while you fight the last round because if the other guy is better trained then you, that means he will win on endurance and that will be a waste of all your training. So make sure that even though you have so much knockout power that you can always fight till the end. And that's how you, that, how you do it with your road work. So the three stands to one. Make sure that you keep your relaxed moment in your jog pace and actually give it all during the shadow boxing. Okay, so just like that, you can do road work for yourself, also for fights and sparring to improve yourself. I'll see you in the next video about road work again with running or actually jogging and body weight. And if you've seen my previous video about jogging and sprinting, you also know how to do that and improve yourself during the fight. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video and I'll see you next time, guys.